saw this next man was on a video just sort of sitting around on the shores of the river there on the campus of Grand Valley. And boy, have they made waves ever since. We'll come through afterwards with two tremendous albums. Please give a warm welcome. We are talking the Grey Watch. This is kind of fun for us to, uh, I want to say strip down, but that just sounds really bad. <laughs> so what we're about to do, you know, uh, you know, it's really fun for us to be in more of an acoustic setting, because that's kind of where this band started. And we're not used to playing for Grand Rapids when it's not in a bar and really noisy. Not that we don't love playing bars, we love it. It's just, you feel really exposed when people are actually listening to you. <laughs> It's hard trying to balance the band and your normal life because you still have to have a job, you still have to pay your bills, and when you're starting out as a band, it's not like you immediately start making money. And so I think that's one of our biggest struggles because we're constantly battling um, the real world, but it's really risky in the beginning, and you have to kind of decide when you're going to take that leap very carefully. <laughs> um, so we're just trying to navigate through that and, and find a settling place. But I think... Um, really, this is just what we all want to do. It's our dream. It sounds silly that it's hard to find the time to practice once a week, but it's been crazy busy recently, so it's sometimes hard to find the time, but yeah. Shows are like practice. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. At the beginning, there was no goal. It was just like, let's get together and make a song. And then after that, it was like, oh my god, we could totally play a show. What would that be like? And yeah, our first gig was at a place called The Mixtape. And it was about like, th what, three weeks after we started playing together? Uh, I'd, I'd been playing the banjo for like two weeks, and we had a gig already. So I was sitting down with all of the chord diagrams and all the chords for every song we were playing written out on the floor in front of me, and uh, yeah. Yeah, I just remember Tom. He claimed to be really excited, but he kept he kept saying, I'm so excited. <laughs> and it was just uh, Dan, myself, Emily, and Tom at the time, because um, we there. hadn't added Zito yeah. yet. And uh, we just made fun of Tom the whole rest of the night because he was so excited. <laughs> Wouldn't it be so cool when we have merch? <laughs> Since this feels like a very special show to us, we decided we would share a brand new song with you. We've been working on this tune in my living room. The cat has been enjoying it. <laughs> During practice when we're all just talking through things, the cat is like watching, trying to figure out what's going on. And as soon as we start playing, he just squints and like meditates. <laughs> but we can't figure it out, he just freezes and squints. <laughs> Sweet. It's feeling better every time though.
it's really nice to have that dichotomy where we play the loud fun shows where our fans are drinking and dancing and we're just having a good time. Because, I mean, there's a lot less pressure when you can't hear absolutely everything. <laughs> um, so <laughs> it's, it's nice to just relax sometimes and that be... It gives you a chance to get more high energy yourself. Yeah. Jump around. Have, you know, and it just feels good. Because I know at shows like St. Cecilia's, that's like a real experience for people. But sometimes it's just nice to be the thing people go to when they just need a night off. Like when they just need to, to have fun. Um, so I think that there's a time and a place for both. Uh, they're both great for different reasons. I hope we get to continue to do both. Yeah. I don't ever want to be pigeonholed into one venue. We have Kate Pillsbury on guitar and vocals. Emily Petersmark on guitar and vocals. Dan Rickabus on drums and vocals. Tom Gunnels on banjo and Ben Zito on bass. And let's give it up for the Crane Wives. WYCE is our local public radio station in West Michigan. Every year they do like a big, it's like a, I, I like to call it the West Michigan Music Summit. It's just this gigantic celebration of music in West Michigan and Michigan in general. Seriously, you guys, this is a pretty unique thing we have here together. And I, we, we all feel very blessed by the cosmos to be a part of this. So many beautiful people, so many dear friends. Thank you guys so, so damn much. It's just, a, it's just great being in there. You get in there and the energy is just electric. And you just get to toss all the energy that you'd usually save for like an hour and a half long show into three songs. And then all of a sudden you're on. on Instagram and I saw someone uh, tagged us on it and they were designing a Crane Wife's tattoo with um, our lyrics around an anchor. It was just like this sketch up uh, and I think she tweeted it to us or something which is how I first saw it. Um, awesome. And I was like, that's, that's crazy. Someone is permanently wanting to put this on them <laughs> as something that we made and, and to me that was pretty incredible. on these shows and people are asking you for interviews. For a while we were inundated and didn't really know what to do. That was, that was a weird kind of, I don't know, situation to get comfortable with for me. It was uh, not being able to uh, react to support because <laughs> of time constraints. It's like, that's strange. Now we go to shows in Ohio where people know all the words and it's just, I still can't deal with it. It's, it's so strange to like look out and see all, like there's a couple of people singing the words that you've never met in your life and I still just like double take like, what, really? And people were so nice and they recognized us right away. This one woman, Debbie, she stopped us as we were like walking by. She's like, oh my gosh, are you guys the Crane Wives? And we're like, yeah, we're the Crane Wives. And she just started to tear up. We're like, what is happening right now? <laughs> All I remember <laughs> is mean? Kate, Emily, <laughs> and Debbie just embracing and all crying. <laughs> and Kate's like saying, don't cry, you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> 